Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I am bringing a new recipe for you guys as I am going to show you how I make egg fried rice. Now this was a highly requested video so I thought I would finally share it with you all today. If you do not already follow my Instagram, please do check it out and follow me to see more of my content. And of course, by following me on Instagram, you can get to know me better by watching my stories and you can also see exclusive behind the scenes content. To make egg fried rice, you will be needing some spring onions. I'm using three today. And you also need some garlic. I'm going to use four cloves, three carrots, some green beans, four eggs, some soy sauce, some salt and pepper, and some boiled rice. So let's start off firstly by frying our four eggs. Now don't worry if one of your yolk breaks because we actually will be breaking them ourselves later on so that you can still use broken eggs. I'm going to gently start breaking my egg now so it doesn't all become one massive egg. Into the eggs we can sprinkle some salt and pepper. Now the amount you add is totally up to you and your taste preferences. I don't really like my eggs to be completely overwhelmed with flavour so I'm going to keep my seasonings quite light. Also do remember to bear in mind the fact that we will add some more salt and pepper and some soy sauce into the actual egg fried rice so you do not want to overdo the spices here. When you're breaking the eggs, be sure to fold the eggs into each other rather than mixing it because when you mix it, the eggs will break into small pieces and you will not be able to see it in the end product. So you will not be able to see the eggs in the actual rice. As I was saying, my eggs are now done because you can see they're slightly big pieces and not too small and not too big. They're just right. So I'm going to export the eggs from the frying pan and gently place them onto my plate. We can actually set the eggs aside temporarily now whilst we work on the vegetables for the rice. So to start preparing the vegetables, I'm just going to add in a tiny amount of oil. I cannot express how important it is to make sure that you only add a tiny bit because our Eggs are also oily and our boiled rice also have some oil in it so you do not want to overdo the oil. I'm going to add in the white parts of my spring onions. Now you do not want to add in the green parts yet because they are much thinner and they will cook quicker. So that's why I'm doing the white parts first. We want to allow the spring onions to gently fry and just start changing colours. So my onions are now becoming translucent somewhat so I can add in my garlic. Traditionally in egg fried rice we use fresh garlic so that's why I'm using fresh garlic today. As I've said before today I'm using four cloves however if you like your dish to be more garlicky you can always add in more. Alternatively, if you do not like garlic that much, you can always add in less. My garlic has lightly fried now, so I'm going to add in my carrots. As you can see, I've chopped up my carrots and diced them really small because the bigger the chunks are, not only will it be harder to eat, but it will actually take longer to cook. Whilst the carrots are frying, do remember to keep stirring it because we do not have that much oil in the pan so there is a high chance that it will start burning or sticking to the bottom. I am allowing my carrots to cook for 3-4 to four minutes because I want mine to be fully cooked. However, if you like a bit of that crunch factor, you do not need to cook them for as long. Once the carrots are cooked according to your personal taste preference, you can add in the green beans. Again, when frying the green beans, you just need to fry it for however long you feel is perfect for you. 
Personally, I also like my green beans to be fully cooked, so I'm going to give it some time around 2-3 to three minutes. However, if you do want that crunch factor, you can cook it for less time. I'm now going to go ahead and add in a pinch of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. The reason why I'm not adding that much salt is because our eggs also have some salt in it and our rice is also slightly salty, so I don't want to overdo it. It's better to add less now so that we can add in more later rather than having too much. At this point I'm also going to add in 3 tablespoons of soy sauce. If you're not that much of a fan of soy sauce you can add in less, however if you love soy sauce you can always add in more. By adding our soy sauce, our vegetables are now really rich in flavours and they are going to be delicious. Today I'm using basmati rice and I've actually pre-boiled this and I'm going to gently add the rice into our vegetables. I'm just going to gently fold in my vegetables into my rice because I do not want my rice to break. Now this is the part where our green parts of our spring onions come in. I'm just going to gently sprinkle these on top and then later we can mix it in. This is also the part now where we can add in our eggs that we fried at the start of the video. Again, I'm just going to gently fold in the egg because I do not want my rice to break. Here it is guys, our egg fried rice is finally ready and it is looking amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try this recipe and do let me know how you find it. Don't forget to let me know what you guys want to see next week. I look forward to hearing from you all. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all next week with a new recipe. See you next time. Bye.